So the manager wants to know who builds more electric motors, right-handed or left-handed people. So he selects 12 at random, and he records the number of electric motors they built. So the hypothesis is there's no difference between the number of electric motors built between left-handed or right-handed, right? The null always states the same thing, no difference. The DV is the number of electric motors, right? That's what these numbers represent. Uh, the type of t-test is their independent group, so that means it's an independent t-test. Hold on while I pull up this sheet here. There's the data. Again, we're going to go to data, analysis, t-test. This is an independent sample t-test. We're going to assume the variances are equal. Our first range is our lefties. Our second range is our righties. And I'm going to put the output right around H5 so I can see it all on the same page. All right, give me a second. And there's all the information, right? The t-test statistic was 1.38, not very big. Remember, if the t-test is greater than 0.2, roughly, then you're going to have a significant difference. The p-value to that is only 0 0.09. So let's answer the rest of those questions. Oh, is this a one-tail or a two-tail test? He doesn't state if somebody is is greater than or less than, so it makes it a two-tail test. Okay, the t-test statistic is 1.38, and the p-value is 0.09, and that means that there was no significant difference at the alpha level of 0.05. That's it. MGZ out.